So it's Sunday, we are packing up and getting into our outfits today. Um, and then we are going to pack up the car, grab Starbucks, head to the convention, so yeah. And then I get to stand in line for multiple hours waiting to get my Funko Pop signed by Chris Evans, so. We got some coffee uh, and now we are headed to the convention. I have my Funko Pop and I get to walk around with that. The con, well the vendors open at 10? What time is it? It's like 9 something. It's like 9 something but it takes a hot minute to get over there and through security. But guys, it's none of this shit. Chris Evans stuff is at 11. His spotlight, we're not going to that. Fuck that. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm already meeting him. I don't need to go to the spotlight. Um, but since everyone else will be at a spotlight and in line for his spotlight, we'll have a clear vendor's hall. Yeah. And that's what matters. <laughs> Shopping, walking around the vendors hall, chilling. Sunday of con, so um, I am headed to the line for my autograph. It is one o'clock, and the autograph is at three. And I have a feeling, considering how the lines have been for C three two, that I need to get there at one one thirty around there. The line isn't too long. I think I got at I came in at a good time. I'm glad I came in when I did. Um, we did end up getting a bunch of frock charms. Me and Callie split. So, yeah. I'll, you'll see it in my haul later, but I'm sort of nervous. <laughs> hey guys, so I did my autograph. Um, if you see that there's makeup missing from my face, it's because I was crying in the bathroom after it. So. Yeah. All right, I am now back with Anna and Kelly. Um, and we are leaving. We are headed out of here. C2E2 is done. <laughs> it's fun times though. I'm mentally unwell currently and emotionally <laughs> because I genuinely don't know what to do with myself after today. Watch this side. I see, now I want to, just out of spite. Please don't. Usually when it hits this part of the video, I'm in my room and you see my bookshelf of collector's stuff behind me. But today we're doing it in my kitchen because um, I've yet to take my things upstairs and my dog will cry if I leave the room. That is also my dog excitedly playing on the couch. So to start off, um, we went to the 3D booth to check it out. And because we were in cosplay, they gave us little slugs. So I've got a green sparkly one and a gray one. I've got little slugs. Another thing I bought was this Cat Noir charm. Uh, the film is still on it, but as you can see, it's this cute little Cat Noir. Very adorable, I love him. So next, I got this is a little Obi-Wan Kenobi Lego. Um, after that, I got this beautiful print of Howl. And it says the magician, so it's like a little tarot card. It's so cute. So I got this Your One, which is the Queen of Swords. So I got this Your One and she looks so pretty, so. I got this cute Deku pen right here. Um, he's just so adorable and I had to buy him. And I bought it from the same booth as the Cat Noir charm. These little decal picture, like stickers. Um, so they were a dollar a piece. So I got a little Totoro. I 
got a little calcifer, I got winter soldier, and then I got a little wicket. So how cute is that? Then I got, <laughs> I also got these uh, beautiful, iconic candles. I got two of them. Let's do a little unboxing. I'm not sure which one is which because they're wrapped up. Our Lord and Savior, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor. <laughs> Isn't this so funny? I bought a second one. Now, fun fact about me, um, this is either going to make you might make you want to either unsubscribe or subscribe to me but i am in witchcraft i'm involved in that Ooh, spooky <laughs> it's not like the craft it's not like that um but i thought i work with loki and i thought it would be really funny I thought it would be really funny <laughs> i thought it would be funny to put this on his altar i got Anakin and Obi-Wan, how cute. And then I got Darth Vader and I got Anya and Bond, how cute. And then of course, I got Captain America, he's so cute. I got this cool Captain Rex, um, look at him. Look at that sticker. I was gonna get it as a pin, but it sold out before I could get it. At that same booth where I got the Captain Rex, this is gonna give some of you some nostalgia. And I bought it purely because it gives me nostalgia. Can you see that? It's the uh, Lego Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan from Phantom Menace. And it's their little character. <laughs> the showstopper. What I paid the most for my Chris Evans autograph. So I got this. I have this. I have so many. When I, I when I tell you I have so many Captain America Funko Pops, I have so many Captain America Funko Pops. And guess what, suckers? I just bought five more because people were selling this um, Captain America through the ages five pack for like 80 bucks. And I was like, there's no way. So I looked it up on Amazon and guess what? It was only 25 bucks. So I bought it out of spite. <sighs> so now I have to put up shelves because I don't have enough room to put up five more Funko Pops. So yeah, but anyway, uh, it's little first Avenger. Captain America with the prototype shield. It is um, number 999. Sorry, I was looking at the autograph. I'm telling you right now, me meeting Chris Evans is gonna be my personality trait for so long right now. And I don't even care if that's cringy. I don't care. Cause it makes me so incredibly happy. <laughs> I haven't smiled this wide in so long. I need this. <laughs> but. Here it is. Uh, I had him sign my name. So it says to Haley. And he put cap. And it's obviously his signature. So let me let me give you a little story time on this, alright? Let me let's let's talk about it. So I got in line at one o'clock. The signing was at three. I got in line at one o'clock. You would think, man, Haley, you got there so early. You were probably one of the first people in line. False. I was probably like around like 20, one of the 20th people in my Like I was, I was not super far back, but I was relatively close to the front. I was in the first wave of people that uh, lined up, which was very exciting. Did I stand in line for like three hours? Yeah. <laughs> Would I do it again? Yes. For Chris Evans? Hell yeah. I got in line. I had some really nice people around me were talking to me. Um, I was dressed as Sophie. I missed the memo. It was either like all the people around me were not dressed up at all. 
Like none of these people are dressed up. I was the only one in cosplay, except like this one kid, so one child. And then when people did come, they were dressed in like Captain America kind of stuff. Like there were some people were dressed as like the Star Spangled Girls. Some people were dressed as, I, I think I saw Winter Soldier. Um, I saw a bunch of Steve Rogers. I saw people, everyone was in Captain America merch. And I was just standing there. And Sophie, imagine me with my silver wig. Just standing in line doing this. Cause I was so nervous. Just doing this for like two and a half hours. Obviously line passes, whatever. I get to like uh, the booth basically. Like we were in a line separate from the booth. And the booth is this big blacked out tent basically. So then nobody can take any sort of pictures of Chris Evans at all. I didn't see Chris until literally I entered the little the little tiny area. So the way it was set up was there was a queue line. You go into the store and then the security will stop you and be like, oh, man, and uh, explain to you what to do. And then that's where the table is where he signs. So I get to the queue line and well, I get to the booth and the lady's like, hey, do you want him to sign your name? I say, yeah. So they write my name down on this little post-it note so he knows how to spell it correctly. Anyway, I'm thinking in line. I'm like, man, what do I say to him? What do I do? Do I want something else signed on my Funko? Am I, is he just going to write Haley? Which he did. And I'm so happy I got that. But I was like, do I want something else on it? Because I was seeing everybody else had like post-it notes with a bunch of shit written on it. And I was like, oh my God, am I doing this wrong? No, we can't really do an autograph wrong. I mean, he just did two Haley, Chris Evans, and then wrote Cap on it, which was nice. I didn't ask him to write Cap. He just wrote Cap, which I appreciate. <laughs> um, but a lot of other people wrote Cap on their uh, post-it notes. So they had like him write Cap or Captain America um, on the actual item. So it was really nice that he wrote Cap on there for me because I forgot to write that part. <laughs> But um, anyway, the security guard stops me um, before I get to like the main line to actually enter the room that Chris Evans is in. And um, he's super nice, super chill. Everyone in his like little staff was super nice and super chill. Um, I don't know if the people just don't know manners, but one of the other people that I was talking to, like he was just like, oh, like, is that where you're getting signed? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, how's your day going? And I was like, really good. How about you? How's your day going? He's like, oh, thank you so much for asking that. Man's is acting like he's never been asked that in this whole line. And I'm like, how has nobody just naturally said that back to you? So, you know, and I, on top of that, I've heard so many people just be ungrateful for the fact that they were even able to meet him let alone get something signed by him because we were fortunate enough to have that money to spend on that. Um, we got lucky. There's people that weren't able to do that, not only because of money, but because of time and because they didn't have internet access to it. And there's just so many other reasons. Get up to, I put my uh, Funko down on the table and I kind of slide it with me as I'm moving down as he's signing people and they're leaving um and then the girl when I get to the part where um also all of them were all his like the people that he was with were all smiling and like I don't know they it was such a good energy I don't know what it is they just had good vibes there like I I I know they were probably exhausted but they're good vibes all around um but they, we got to this girl and she was asking me what color uh, marker I wanted on it. And I said black because I wasn't sure what color to pick. She's like, light blue. You should pick light blue. So I picked light blue and it looks amazing. Shout out to that girl for telling me light blue. <laughs> but um, the guy next to Chris asked me if I wanted light, uh, what marker I wanted. I told him light blue. And, um, you know, Chris just grabbed the Funko Pop. Um, he looked at my post-it note and he put it to the side to write my name and as he was writing he's like Haley 
And I was like, yeah. He's like, Haley, like Haley Atwell. And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh my God. I know that's not that big of a deal, but it's a big deal to me. Uh, anyway, um, he smiled some more, kind of laughed a little. And then I said, thank you so much. And then I walked away and then I processed everything outside of the curtain. And I slowly put the Funko Pop back in the container. <laughs> and as I was doing that, this man in front of me was straight up complaining. Complaining. He was like, oh my God, I can't believe he didn't talk to us some more. Yeah, like he has fucking 10 minutes to talk to every person. No, there's like thousands of people waiting in line for him. Calm yourself. He's got two hours to sign these things. And they're not first timers for autographs. Like they should know this by now. And he's a big celebrity. You should just expect that. I came in to it expecting that I was going to be able to talk to him for two seconds. And guess what? That happened. I didn't even think he was really going to acknowledge my existence too much. I just thought he was going to say, hi, sign it, and then give it to me. But he made it more personable, which is very appreciated. Um, but he made it more personable, which was not unexpected because, again, he is a, like, genuinely nice human being, I feel like. Um, but I knew that the lines needed to go by fast, and I just expected it to be signed and tossed. I <laughs> said signed and tossed to me. So, I don't know. I got better. Um, I lowered my standards, and I got a better experience from that, I guess. Um, I wouldn't advise doing that for everything, but scenario that really helped me out but anyway uh I then felt the tears coming because whenever I experience something that gives me an extreme amount of happiness I start bawling my eyes out so I was like oh my god it's just gonna be Sophie crying <laughs> on the show floor so I started Busted my ass to the bathroom, found a bathroom, actually went into, all the bathrooms are like gender non-conforming. It was just like a non-gendered bathroom. But I went to a bathroom with a bunch of men in urinals in it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not about to cry in a stall surrounded by men. Um, or masculine presenting people. Um, so I went into the other bathroom uh, where all the girls and feminine presenting people were. And I was went into the back stall and I cried my eyes out. I've just been in an insane amount of shock. And I feel so grateful and I appreciate the fact that he was um, able to come out. And I'm grateful for the fact that I was able to get an autograph to see and even get a ticket to see to Izu for three days. Like it's, it's just these experiences like make, make my life so much better. Um, because I live a very mundane life outside of cosplay and like cosplay and filming and and music and like planning and making these things are like the thing that gives me that it's like my outlet for my passions and being able to um meet someone who basically grew up I grew up with Captain America as my role model so it's it was insane just like seeing him in person and i know that he's not captain america i know that i know to separate an actor from a character i know how to do that i'm not delusional <laughs> on that factor but he has created and brought to life a character that has given me so much happiness and that has brought me to so many good people in my life because of marvel and because I started watching Marvel when the Iron Man movies came out. I saw all those movies in theaters. But I got into it a little bit with Iron Man. But when I saw the first Captain America movie, that's when it like really hit. That's when I was like, that, that is it. That is what this, I love this. So just meeting him after all that time was just so 
overwhelmingly amazing. It was just amazing. And just pure serotonin and adrenaline going through my body. I kind of wanted to give you that little update on it and show you my little haul. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really like my videos, go ahead and subscribe down below. It wouldn't hurt to comment. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Uh, have a good night. See ya.